Hi, my name is David York with Top Tier Capital Partners, and we're here this morning at uh, U.S. Investor, Super Investor Conference in San Francisco, and we're having a brief conversation with Steve Paluga of Bain Capital. Hi, how are you this morning? I'm good, Steve. Why don't you just briefly for the camera um, give folks a little bit of a background on Bain. I know it's a global firm, but just an update on where you guys are as far as AUM well, and things like that. Well, real quick nature. background is Bain started out about 30 years ago as a consulting firm and uh, formed a venture capital group. With the theory, you take the consulting skills and analytic skills to build businesses, and they've been doing that ever since for 30 years, grown from a very small group of people, six people doing that, to about 900 today. And so we're global. We're located in Boston, uh, India, China, right. UK. How much do you manage? Uh, we have over 60 billion under management. Wow, what an, it's an impressive organization. Um, I just had a chance to listen to your keynote speak uh, a minute ago, and you mentioned something about um, uh, a energy dividend in the United States, and I was curious if you could elaborate specifically on where you think interesting investment opportunities will come well, from I, that. I think, I think one upside in the U.S. economy, we've come through a terrible recession, the worst you know, since 1929, but some bright <coughs> spots are emerging, and this development of uh, shale oil gas in the United States has been phenomenal. Uh, they're projecting now in, in maybe, maybe 15, 20 years we could be our own independent energy source, which is obviously great for manufacturing. Uh, with gas at such a low price right. and all domestically earned, that brings down the cost and that'll, that'll allow American businesses to bring back labor from overseas because labor costs will never beat them on labor costs, but we can beat them on energy costs. Gotcha. So what particular parts of the market would you think then would be an interesting opportunity to invest well, I in? Think, I think the energy dynamic will help the United States as a whole. If we couple that with uh, congressional leadership on getting the budget balanced at some point in our lifetimes. I'm hoping <coughs> they will come Those out with a plan. Those are two opposite things right in now. In the next, right? you know, seven to ten years. <laughs> Those two dynamics, plus our knowledge-based economy and patents in great universities and places like Silicon Valley, I really think can uplift the United States in general. Where do we look at for investments? We look at companies we can transform, companies that are in growth areas. So there are very exciting things going on in healthcare right now. We spend about $2.7 trillion on healthcare, 17% of the GDP, and that number's got to come down. We're spending about twice right. per capita as much as the rest of the world. So there are lots of companies that, with analytics, big data, uh, uh, services that will help bring that cost down and bring higher quality healthcare. So that's an area to invest. Uh, other areas to invest would be in the knowledge economy. You see the, the social media and all the spin outs from that. Right. And then the changing of old media to new media, a very exciting area there as well. So, so at Bain Capital, we, we, we will look at the global economy, but we're also looking at, at kind of growth plays within those niches. Right. You also mentioned you had offices around the world. Um, one of the things that we talked about earlier this morning was some of the political changes in China. How do you see the Chinese market today? Well, the, I think they've come through so far. It's early in the game. They just made the change about uh, three or four months ago, but they've come through um, <clears throat> very smoothly through that change. Their goal is to grow their economy. They've got Many, many people in the center of the country living at a very low standard of living. They're moving to the coasts, and they need to create jobs just like the United States. So they're focused maniacally on creating those jobs, uplifting the standard of living. We've had an explosion in global trade that's good for them, that's good for the U.S., and you know, I think that, again, is a potential upside coming out of this recession. Do you worry about any of the political, geopolitical risks there? Definitely. I mean, I mean, the great thing about the United States is the most stable, uh, you know, law-abiding country in the world, and that's what makes it such a great investment climate here. Um, the, the places like China and India, they're not there yet, although they're trying to get there. I think India's way behind. You know, China, we've had a lot of success there, and they are trying to, you know, adopt the kind of standards that, that we have here. They're not there yet. They're not there yet, so you have to be very selective. You have to pick the right partners, and you have to invest in businesses that you know a lot about. Great. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. you taking the time. Steve's bullish on the U.S. and thinks China's an okay place to be. Absolutely. It's great to be here.